Welcome to my week four battle of the PDL. This week, the Chicago Grookies are taking on Will, coach of the Manchester Morpicos. My opponent has a very scary team with a good mix of very like offensive Pokemon and just some insane bulk that I don't know how I'm going to break through easily. So let's take a look at my opponent's team. My opponent has Victini, Mega Altaria, Ferrothorn, Slowbro, Mandibuzz, Gengar, Hitmonlee, Rotom Heat, Rhydon, Ambipom, and Drapion. So Victini and Gengar are huge threats, but they also easily get Pursuit Traps. So that's why we have the first Pokemon here is Life Orb Sneasel. I threaten both of those Pokemon with Knock Off, and if I want to predict, I can try to Pursuit Trap them, but Knock Off does a ton of damage to most of the Pokemon on this team. Not the Mandibuzz or the Drapion or the Ferrothorn, but I have other ways to deal with that. Ice Will Crash does a ton to the Mandibuzz as well as the Mega Altaria, and then Low Kick is for the Ferrothorn. We're running Max Speed to Speed Tie with Ambipom, and then we have Inner Focus just on the off chance if he goes for Fake Out on us, and we can actually do a ton of damage back with Knock Off. Next up, we have Assault Vest Dragalgi with enough speed to outspeed Rhydon that's trying to speed creep the Dragalgi. Just wanted to try to be careful of that. Running the Assault Vest because there were no status moves that I needed and I had all attacking moves anyway. I have both Draco Meteor and Dragon Pulse because Dragon Pulse just does a ton to this team with the adaptability boost and Draco just is like a nuke that can one hit a couple things but if I want easy two at KOs I go for Dragon Pulse. Sludge Bomb is for the Mega Altaria and then Hidden Power Fire two at KOs the Ferrothorn. A lot of the calcs I have this week rely on Stealth Rocks so I have a Fable with my Stealth Rocks this week. I didn't really like Gliscor or Empoleon in this matchup. Running Moonblast Knockoff and Moonlight is my final move with the Unaware. This is just in case Altaria decides to start Dragon Dancing up. I don't have Flamethrower on this set, so Ferrothorn does come in pretty easily, but I thought removing items with Knockoff was just a little bit more important, especially like the Rhydon with Eviolite and then just getting rid of like Mandibuzz's leftovers. Each week so far, I've brought Choice Scarf Chandelure, so I didn't want to do that this week. It really likes having the freedom of switching up its moves. So I'm running Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, and Energy Ball. Nothing resists the combination of those three. And then my last move is Memento. This is to allow Durant to set up, which we'll get to that in just a minute. I have the Culverberry just so that I don't get Pursuit Trapped or so I can just generally take a dark move, whether it be from the Drapion, Knock Off from Ambipom, or the Mandibuzz. I can't lose this too early because this is one of my main answers to Ferrothorn. I didn't want to rely too heavy on like running fire coverage throughout my team since I had this. I have Dragalgi, so that's like one of the other reasons I didn't run Flamethrower on Clefable. Durant actually has a really good matchup with a really good speed tier. As long as the Ambipom is no longer around, this goes in. So the plan is to Memento with Chandelure to lower something stat and then come in with this and set up a home clause. Since I am Hustle, I want to have that up so I'm not missing my attacks. Superpower is there for the Ferrothorn. Iron Head for Stab and to hit the Mega Altaria. And then Crunch hits the Gengar, the Victini, and mainly the Slowbro. And last but not least, we have the kill leader of the entire league, Mega Lopunny, who is currently 8-1 in that number one position. Running Fake Out, Return, Power Up Punch, and Fire Punch. Didn't really need Fighting Stab this week because the only two Pokemon really weak to fighting moves were Ferrothorn and Rhydon. Rhydon kind of gets it's worn down by the rest of my team and it gets it's pretty much setup fodder for power up punch and then i have fire punch for the ferrothorn so i'm not too worried about running high jump kick and boosted returns do so much damage to my opponent's team so that's the team if you enjoy leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the battle all right here we are with the battle my opponent brings slowbro mega altaria mandibuzz rhydon Victini and Ferrothorn. And first thing I notice is that Sneasel does not have a resisted move on this entire team. Like, it looks fantastic. No Drapion, which is really good. I was quite concerned about that in my prep. I think that leading Chandelure looked really good here because I can fake being Choice Scarfed and it has a pretty good matchup into everything. And it's faster than everything but the Victini. I'm pretty sure speed ties with the Altaria. Yeah, we're gonna lead Chandelure here as my opponent leads Victini. So this is faster, but I don't believe it gets a way to actually hit me that hard. Shadow Ball does 63 to 76 from a Life Orb set, but I don't think that they want to risk me being Choice Scarf and staying in. So I'm just going to click a Shadow Ball of my own because I won't die to it. Even if they're Choice Specs, I don't think I die to a uh, Shadow Ball. No, I never die. So I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball of my own here. Mandibuzz can come out here, but I have a pretty free switch into Clefable then, and then I get my Stealth Rocks up for free. All right, my opponent goes for Zen Headbutt and actually gets the flinch, which is actually really unfortunate. So that's a max attack. Victini that did a max roll there. Part of me wants to go Sneasel, but I don't want to see a fire move come out here, so I think I'm just going to go for another Shadow Ball on this. I could Memento as well, but just doing as much damage to this as possible, I think, is my best bet. Because there is a, a really good chance that they predict Sneasel, because it's a, it's a decent play on, on the Psychic move. So I'm going to click Shadow Ball here once again. All right, they switch out into Mandibuzz. 
We do a decent chunk, nothing too crazy. They show leftovers. All right, this is a physically defensive Mandibuzz, and so it gets to it KO'd by Cliff Fable. So I'm gonna go that. It's a pretty free switch in here. Uh, they U-turn out. Might go Ferrothorn, um, but not guaranteed because I could have Flamethrower. All right, they go Ferrothorn here. We don't have the Flamethrower here, so I cannot stay in against this. I could go Chandelure since I do have the Choppleberry, or sorry, the Culberberry. I can take a knockoff from this. Yeah, I'm going to go Chandelure here. I think that's my best play, and they double out into the Victini. This could be Choice Scarf. I'm like kind of thinking that a little bit in the back of my head here. I'm going to go Clefable because I am fully Fizz Dev, and I don't think that they go for a fire move here. They could, but I think Zen Headbutt just makes the, the most sense if they go for a v create it does a lot to clefable but then i can come back out into chandelure since i'm flash fire i i really do think they're choice scarf i'm between choice scarf and colberberry those are the two items that i'm really thinking it is right now i think clefable's better we're gonna go clefable here they zen headbutt so that works out because i eat that up since i'm fizz dev and now i can either knock off or get my rocks up i have a feeling that Ferrothorn comes out here um and if that has leftovers i would like to get rid of those so i'm gonna knock off here just to remove an item if this Victini chooses to stay in and it is Choice Scarf, I can remove that. That Mandibus probably has Defog, so I think I think Stealth Rocks are more valuable, actually. So we're going to get those up right away. Not as worried about this Ferrothorn. I'm going to go out into my Chandelure here. Same situation as last time where I know I can take a knockoff due to my Culberberry. They might try to start getting up their own hazards to pressure the Chandelure because I can't remove hazards. I have no removal this week. All right, we have Chandelure come out here. We eat the Culberberry, so we do take that knockoff here. And we get a pretty free Flamethrower here. If they go um, Slowbro, we get a hit off after. If they go Rhydon, we get a hit off after. I kind of also like Shadow Ball here for the Victini. So my opponent just said in the chat that they believed my Chandelure was Choice Scarf. So they just 100% gave away that their Victini is Choice Scarfed. Because I was stuck between Colber and Choice Scarf, but if their Victini outsped my Chandelure, so if they're thinking I'm Choice Scarf Chandelure, they have to be Choice Scarf Victini. That just, that makes sense. I'm going to click Shadow Ball here because it just seems like the better play because the only punish for Shadow Ball is Mandibuzz coming in is to where for Flamethrower, there's a lot more punishes. So I'm going to click Shadow Ball here. It just overall is the more well-rounded play. It gets me the most mileage. All right, they go out into Mandibuzz here, so uh, this isn't going to do a ton, but my follow-up Flamethrower should do a decent chunk. Yeah, my follow-up Flamethrower does 36 to 42, so I'm kind of putting them into a situation where they have to roost. I can go Clefable here, though, as well pretty easily, and I pressure them with Moonblast, and if they try to get rid of the Stealth Rocks, I can set them back up, and I can keep the Chandelure around for later to still Memento because this thing is still like quite a threat to the defensive core of uh, Slowbro and Ferrothorn. So I think going Clefable makes the most sense here. I'm going to make that play here. They might U-turn. They, they end up roosting, which makes sense. They were quite low on health there. Um, and I'm going to Moonblast here because it has a chance to 2-8 KO this. I could also knock off to remove an item here, which isn't like the worst play because they switched out last time. Uh, I kind of like that. I'm going to knock off. They went Ferrothorn last time, so I could remove either like a Rocky Helmet, an Akaberry, or uh, leftovers from that. Or if they decide to go Victini and I knock off that thing's Choice Scarf, that's always great because that means Mega Lopunny just destroys this team with a couple power-up punch boosts. Okay, they choose to defog that turn, which is totally fine because I'm just going to get rid of their leftovers. No more recovery for them. And I'm just going to set up my Stealth Rocks here again because they're just really good here. Uh, they probably go Ferrothorn since I don't have a way to touch that, which they do. So this now becomes just like a tad more difficult since I don't have Chandelure, but I think I end up just going Dragalgi because I do have the Hidden Power Fire, and I can also threaten the Victini like with Dragon Pulse switching in because I doubt that this would just stay in against Dragalgi. So I'm going to go that here. The They can knock off my Salt Vest or they maybe leech seed um not the end of the world here that we lose the assault vest i'm gonna dragon pulse this turn because i don't think they stay in with ferrothorn here considering hidden power fire does to a ko and we're probably faster than this thing so without that altaria being mega evolved dragon pulse is, is just free so i'm gonna click that and they actually stay in okay they go for the leech seed Sneasel does 2 it KO this, possibly, with Low Kick. And it's just a general threat to this team, so I kind of want to double the Sneasel. I want to keep this Dragalgi, like, somewhat healthy. So, I'm going to go Sneasel here on this. I don't think that they go for, like, a Steel move. I honestly think that they switch out here. So, we're going we're gonna to make the Sneasel play here. 
um, they knock off so that could be a lot worse just losing our life orb isn't the end of the world and i'm gonna low kick here it's gonna do uh, a good chunk of damage to this i can also knock off to remove its item which does a decent chunk of damage and then helps in case anything switches in we know it's not leftovers it could be choppleberry for the mega low as well so i'm gonna knock off because if it is choppleberry here uh my low kick does a lot less damage here which it was choppleberry so we made the right play there and our sneasel goes down but i'm not like too too upset by that because this uh ferrothorn is just a huge threat i'm gonna go chandelure here i threaten this out with a flamethrower and nothing wants to like freely come in and take rocks bikini doesn't uh neither does altaria so flamethrower is just very free here from chandelure and if they go slow bro or um right on i can just go for a energy ball right after will's been playing this very well so far i am i'm definitely struggling with this like bulky team all right, they switch out into Mana Buzz, which takes a good chunk from the Stealth Rocks, and we can actually two a KO here with Flamethrower, and this thing has been very annoying, so I'm glad to be able to possibly get rid of this. If Victini comes in here, it takes Stealth Rock damage, and it still takes about 25% from Flamethrower, so it's going to be at about 50, so I'm going to go for another Flamethrower here. Very free. I do possibly, I say possibly so lightly, speed tie this uh, Mana Buzz, but yeah. <laughs> Victini comes out here, uh, get a mineral, but that's fine. I'm gonna just go Clefable again on this. Uh, if they go for the V Create, good play. They do, does about 62. I can go back out into Chandelure here because nothing threatens it and I'm flash fire. So we're gonna make that play here. They go Ferrothorn, but that's fine because now I'm just in a position to click Flamethrower again. Shadow Ball doesn't do enough yet and that Altaria, how much does it take from a Flamethrower? Doesn't take a ton. I wanna try to predict and click Shadow Ball, but I just don't think it's the, the safe play here. I'm just gonna click Flamethrower. Victini comes back out here, so if I would have clicked Shadow Ball, this would have gone down. Um, I can no longer switch into Clefable freely. How much does Zen Headbutt do to my Durant? It does, like, nothing. Do I want to risk my Durant? I'm going to make the play. I'm going to risk Durant here. I don't think that they V-Create, like, twice here. I don't think they do it. Or I can sap Clefable. But Clefable's kind of here to stop that Altaria from just Dragon Dance sweeping me, so I don't think I want Clefable to leave yet. Ugh... This Victini sucks. It's if they V create, I want to stay in here. But if they Zen headbutt, I want to be in Durant. It's such a hard read to make. And he's gotten pretty much every read correct so far. So it just makes it like I'm just in this position where I, I just don't know what to do. I'm gonna shadow ball on the V create. That's that is just my my gut feeling is to shadow ball as this thing V creates. I have no V create switch in besides this, so it's just the safer play. I think because losing this is not the end of the world with that Ferrothorn at the health it's at. They said headbutt. Every read I get wrong. I, I cannot get a read right this game. It's just, it's so bad. So I can either go Mega Low Punny here and I can fake out, or I can go Durant here and I can Hone Claws on this. The problem with going Durant is, well, this thing actually can't come back in because of Stealth Rocks with this. I kind of like the Durant play. I'm gonna go Durant here and I'm gonna Hone Claws. If this whole time they weren't actually Choice Scarf and they like baited me with the text and everything, like good fucking game. But I really believe that this is a Choice Scarf Victini and I can just Hone Claws here and I dare say win, give or take. Uh, just Kind of depends on the slow bro being Culberberry, if anything. I don't want to get too out of myself, though. All right, they go Ferrothorn on this. We get our Hone Claws off. The problem now is that I'm pretty sure I have to superpower here. It looks like Crunch, like, could kill. No, not on this set. Uh, I have to superpower here. So we'll lose the attack boost. I wish I could click Crunch here. It's just a roll that I'm not willing to take yet. And I could maybe set up a second Hone Claws. But if I lose the Life Orb, do I kill? It's a better roll, but it's still not, like, guaranteed if they knock off as I Hone Claw here. Um, and Gyro Ball does a, a very decent chunk of damage, more than uh, I would have thought. And they also could uh, Leech Seed, which I wouldn't like as well, so I'm going to Super Power here. They go into the Altaria. Does so much damage. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm going to click Crunch here. It's just safer than Iron Head. It hits more, just generally. So... Ferrothorn comes out here, and I believe this will go down to uh, two crunches here. Taking a ton of chip damage, but it, it will go down. Durant's putting in work on its debut week. Let's go. 
finally take down one of their Pokemon. This has been rough. But they really struggle to switch into this. If that Slowbro is not Colberberry, it goes down. So um, if it's not Colbert, do I just win? Like, I mean, that's that's sort of what it's looking like. They go Slowbro here, so I'm expecting this to be Colberberry. But I don't really have, like, any switch-ins here. So I'm just going to click Crunch, and I go down to the Scald, Flamethrower, whatever here. That wasn't... How did that do so well? What? Oh, I had my calc. My calc was wrong the entire time. That sucks. I added a plus two. That makes sense. I was wondering why that did so much less than I anticipated it to. Okay, that's all right. I just, I, I definitely thought that was gonna do a tad more. It, it's all right though. Um, I can go make a low punny here, and I can just return. No reason to click fake out since this is Rocky Helmet, and it, uh, it would do. A decent chunk of damage back. I can also go out into Dragalgi here, and I can go for a uh, a dragon move. But that allows the Mandibuzz to come in and defog, which I don't want. So I'm gonna go Mega Low Punny. So we just Mega and we click Return here, and this goes down. That Rhydon is still like actually kind of scary because I don't have uh, a better move than Power a Punch to hit it with which is uh concerning because like I that was like one of the points I made. I was like, oh, I don't need a fighting move. It's just for for Rhydon. All right, Altaria comes out here and sacks itself to uh, the Stealth Rocks here. That's probably just to allow uh, Slowbro to get a boost, uh, a regenerator health back, I mean. So Rhydon comes out, and I honestly think that I just lose to this Rhydon because I don't have um, High Jump Kick this week, which kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. But it's my own fault for prepping uh, the way I did. I mean, I felt like I didn't need it. But uh, yeah, let's just go for power up punch here. I can start to, to gain some boost. I don't die to one hit from this. And if it's Eviolite, it does, you know, a decent chunk. So let's see here. Um, I don't know if it's like worth letting this go down though, because then uh, that Mandibuzz is just faster and it comes in and it uh, defogs and Victini wins. So part of me wants to go Clefable into like Dragalgi, but if they rock polish, I lose. So it's, it's not looking good here, but I, I think that's just kind of the, the best play, I guess. Um, let's just go for Fable here as they Earthquake. So they didn't Rock Polish or Swords Dance, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to attempt to knock off here. If I can get the, rid of the Eviolite, that would be fantastic. That would be like best case scenario, but I don't know if I'm faster than this. Uh, if they don't have any speed, I am, but they're definitely speed invested. So Dragalgi probably doesn't even outspeed them at this point either. How much does Dragalgi take from an Earthquake? Oh, it dies. It uh, it does not take one. Yeah, I guess I'll just go Mega Lopunny here. I kind of want to keep Dragalgi around. Like on the off chance, I get rid of this for the Slowbro. But I think this just uh, this is just over here. So I'm gonna fake out this turn, power up punch twice. But I uh, this is definitely Eviolite, and I lose here. So that's unfortunate. Yep, so we go down to uh, to Earthquake from this twice. GG's to Will. He played an outstanding game. Like, I, I cannot deny every read. He, he was just reading me like a book the entire game. Any play I wanted to make, he just made, like, the better play. And it felt like I was in a lot of, like, 50-50 scenarios there, um, especially with that Victini versus Chandelure. And it was just, like, he was getting every read. I mean, he's just a great player. Th there's nothing else I can really say. That brings our record to 2-2, two and two, which kind of unfortunate fortunate but we will uh hopefully bounce back but yeah if you enjoyed drop a like subscribe and i'll see you guys all later peace